Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with another unboxing and this time we've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. I've picked this up here in the UK for exactly £600, the links will be down in the description if you're after one. Pretty standard packaging here from Samsung with this wooden effect box here and you can see this black banding going right the way around the box just indicating that this is a jet black model of the Note 3 and you can see the seals are still intact. This particular seal around this side says European model. This product is only compatible with a SIM card issued from a mobile operator within Europe and along the bottom here we've got another barcode label just giving us the serial numbers and the IME numbers here and along the back from the top you've got the Galaxy Note 3 branding this is a 32 gigabyte model it has LTE connectivity a 2.3 gigahertz Qualcomm quad core Snapdragon 800 CPU with a 5.7 inch full HD super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen capable of playing back full HD videos at 1080p rear facing cameras include a 30 megapixel shooter with a 2 megapixel camera for the front and includes 3 gigabytes of LPDDR3 RAM it also includes the S Pen as well as having a 3200 mm milliamp hour battery obviously running Android Jelly Bean 4.3 as you can see here and you can see the model number towards the bottom there being SM hyphen N 9005. There's going to be a number of variants for the Galaxy Note 3. So if you've got model numbers ending in 9000, that's a model with 3G connectivity. 9002 has dual SIM card support, and like this, 9005 has 3G and LTE connectivity. Enough talky talky, let's put that down for a sec. Grab some scissors, score across this side and the seal this side as well and should just lift off fairly easily so here we go and there we go oh look how good that looks lift that out oh look how good it looks jet black finish galaxy note 3 that does look good we'll leave it to one side and see what else we get at the box quick start guide here from samsung again giving you another overview about the device where some of the key features are on the handset how to remove the battery remove the s pen use the s pen put it back in again that kind of good stuff so leave that to one side we've got some key features handbook here from samsung again gives us some overview of samsung specific features like s window scrapbook s note how to use those types of features so if you haven't used samsung products before that may come in handy we've got some warranty card information here in various languages smart switch information and how to port over data from your old samsung device to your new again we'll leave that to one side and this looks like health and safety information in various languages so again we'll leave that to one side next up we have the uk three pin power plug it looks pretty standard but doesn't look like it fits the wall as it is at the moment but you have to slide that up like so and boom it goes straight into the wall you've got the samsung branding along this side as you can see there usb port for charging once you plug in the cable so we'll leave that to one side because that's pretty standard nowadays next up we have the data transfer and charging lead this is pretty standard or is it and you can see the usb interior is blue because this is a usb 3.0 cable and along the other you have the micro usb 3.0 connector which plugs into the bottom of the phones so moving on from the usb 2.0 days to now usb 3.0 next up we have the earphones let's see if we can get this opened up here have a little bit of a closer look with the earphones and here we have the mini remote control volume up and down buttons call pick up and end and microphone along the back here we've got some samsung branding on the earbuds as you can see there there. turning that around you've got a white silicone earbud with this silver finish along the back of the earphone itself and I don't know if you can see inside that little silicone cone but you've got the mesh silver finish inside the earphone there obviously here we've got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack as we all know so we'll leave those down to one side next up we have five spare pen tips for the s pen and this pinch tool which you can use to get those out as well i like the way they've paid attention to detail in case you run out as well plenty there to change even for the heaviest of users final thing out the box here is a battery so let's get it out of its packaging because we'll need it in a second and you can see there samsung branded near field communication built into it along the back here you can see 3200 milliamp hour rated battery along the back here so we'll leave that to one side because we'll need it bring up the galaxy note 3 so you ready you ready let's take off the front so here we go three two one oh that sounded good and look how good that looks 5.7 inches of super amoled screen there so take off the back and it's no longer hyper glazed and it was in its previous iteration and i like this stitching attention around the sides there almost looks as if it's handmade towards the side you've got the little slot where you can get your finger nail then hopefully pry off the 
back of this particular unit to get to the battery compartment. And while we're here, I'll remove that little sticker there. That's a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with the LED flash underneath it. You can see the battery contacts there. The micro SD card slot is the one along the top there. And underneath is a micro SIM card slot, as you can see. Normally you'd be able to see the speaker grill there, but it's kind of planed off because it's more towards the, the bottom there. You can see the grill there. There we go, put that in and put the back back on here click that back into place power button as ever is along the right hand side here so i'm just going to press that down to turn the device on while we have a look around it samsung galaxy note 3 branding there gorgeous top right here we have the two megapixel front facing camera you've got the sensors there the earpiece in the middle led notifications towards the left hand side here home button is slightly raised in the middle back and menu buttons as you can see there volume up and down buttons as ever along the left hand side so We'll just straighten that up. United Kingdom English. Yes. We'll hit next. No SIM card. That's correct. Wi Fi is connected up, so we'll hit next. Date and time. We'll leave it to the network automatic. And we'll say yes to the license agreement. We'll say yes to that as well. Hit next. In progress. Samsung account. I've already got one, but I'll skip it for now. Got a Google account? Yes, signing in there shouldn't take too long as I'm already hooked up to the Wi Fi. There we go. So I'm going to say no to the backup and location services that we have here. This belongs to, I'll just type in my name. You get 50 gigabytes of storage for up to two years when you purchase this device. I've already got it, so I'm gonna hit skip. And there we go, that will leave the name as it is. And while that's booting up here, let's have a quick look around. As I say, this is a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. Can shoot up to ultra high definition, so up to 4K. I do like this leatherette type of material here with the detailing of the stitching around the side. But a part of me does also miss the hyper glazed finish. So around the device, you've got the volume up and down buttons along this side here. Along the top, you've got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack with a secondary noise cancelling microphone next to it. You've got the infrared blaster along the right hand side here. You've got the power button uh, along the right hand side of the unit. Towards the bottom, you've got the S Pen dock, and you would have heard the S Note firing up there. We'll push that back in again. You've got the grill for the speaker, which is not along the back as it was in the previous model. Micro USB 3.0 connectivity there, just for ultra high fast data transfer speeds if you're going to be recording video in 4K. You've got the microphone there as well. Let's get back around to the front of the device and hopefully it's finished setting up by now. Yes, it has. So let's get the S Pen out while we're here. Notice how the air command function starts up automatically when we've taken the S Pen out. Feels ever so slightly slimmer and lighter than what I'm used to previously, but it still feels pretty good in the hand. Button clicker there. Samsung branding along the top here, a bit more grippier to get out along the back here with this little notch, but it feels very good in the hand. But look how good that 5.7 inch screen looks here. Let's see how responsive it is by using the S Pen. Still feels pretty good, even with my finger. Still responsive, very smooth. I do like this a lot. So let's go to the applications drawer. Uh, only the one pane on here, never mind. Let's go to settings, go to the general tab, and down to about device. And you can see the model number there and Android version 4.3 Jelly Bean out the box. And this has been the unboxing for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 here in the UK. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what we saw. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.